ASU football looks to gain its fourth straight win of the season against the Lamar Cardinals. The Wildcats are 2-0 in the Southland Conference after their 59-14 victory against Houston Baptist. For James Network Sports, I'm Sharon e. Morosky. The Wildcats took on conference opponent Lamar last Saturday night in a game that would come down to the wire. On ACU's second drive of the game, quarterback Parker McKenzie finds receiver Cedric Gilbert down the sideline for a 38-yard touchdown to give the Wildcats an early lead. McKenzie has thrown 16 touchdowns so far this season, and seven of them have been to Gilbert. Lamar would answer back as this run by Cad Harrington is enough to tie things up at seven late in the first quarter. After the Cardinals would kick a field goal to go up 10-7, they would go for the deep pass here, but defensive back Quinton Baker records the interception to hold Lamar to just three points heading into halftime. Number 40. Running back Herschel Sims had another good week against his former team as he racked up 90 yards on 16 carries. At the beginning of the third, Lamar would pass on a third and long situation, but the defense gets there in time to break up the pass. Running back DeAndre Brown also had a productive game as he rushed for 107 yards on just 13 carries in his first game back from an injury. The Wildcats were able to put together a nice drive which ended in this 65-yard pass from receiver Cade Stone to his fellow receiver Monte Green Avery for a touchdown to give the home fans something to cheer about, leading 14-10. With 10 and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, McKenzie finds tight end Noah Sheshier as he makes it into the end zone to put ACU up 11-21-10. On a Lamar 4th and 19, the defense is flagged for a personal foul, giving the Cardinals a first down at the ACU 12-yard line. The following play would result in a Lamar touchdown and a successfully converted two-point conversion, moving the score ACU 21, Lamar 18, with 7.45 left in the game. The Wildcats were forced into a three and out on their following possession, while Lamar was able to go 82 yards in a minute and a half, resulting in this touchdown to give the Cardinals the lead. The missed point after would keep ACU's deficit at just 24-21 with hopes left in the game. The Wildcats would do everything they could to put together a game-winning drive, but were unable to score, giving Lamar a come-from-behind victory on the road in Shockwell. It was it was an interesting game. It was uh, you know the mood swings and momentum. You know there was all over the place, and and you had two, you know what, two pretty good teams getting after it. I think we were pretty evenly matched, uh, you know, across the board, and uh, you know we had chances to put them away and uh, didn't do it. And to their credit, they came back and made plays when they when they had to.